Welcome to Ash Brothers Outdoors. This video was proudly brought to you by North American Trapper Shady Creek Lures Bait and Tackle Winter Wildlife Control Bait and Lure Duke Traps Performance Tested Wildlife Management Equipment Wolf Creek Products Strain the Change Trap Line Modifications Go Trapping, Exclusive Predator Control for Ranches Sleepy Creek Trap Company Southern Snares and Supply, More Than Just Snares Young's Bait and Lure Company, Since 2020 Predator Perfect, Predator Hunting and Trapping Supplies Washtar River Valley Trading Post Mark June's Lures Incorporated. Only we make good sense. Okay guys, it is blowing pretty good today. I hope you can hear me over the wind, but we got beat. Um, this is right here where I caught that uh, skunk in the 220 a while back, and guess what? There it is. There's the stakes that was holding it down and the trap's gone. And there's nothing to be seen anywhere around here. So obviously we caught something bigger than a skunk. My thoughts are something bigger like possibly a coyote would happen to become wandering through here and if I made the set trying to catch a coyote I want to cut a coyote in a million years but you know when you're targeting something else that's when the coyotes get into it so um my theory is a coyote came along and I just dumped a bunch of garbage down there. I figured, you know, a skunk is... They'll still come wandering around here. And if they don't want to go down the den to get out of the window or whatever, they will go down to check out what's all that weird smelling stuff down there. Because skunks eat anything. And I guess something else came along. Probably started pawing at it. Got caught and it was... Wasn't any kill catch and he ran off. But I kicked around here, uh, started ravaging through that falling down house. I couldn't find a sign of anything. There weren't even any trash right there, so. I guess we'll catch something with a 220 on him in a steel trap or something. I guess we'll know what it was, but that is not good at all. Okay, we just found him. It is crawled about 50, 75 yards with a sneaking ton of bear on him he collapsed in the middle of our neighbor's road there's the fence right here and uh, Jesse came up found him and got sprayed so thanks a lot you dumb old skunk that, that's, that is one badass skunk survives a 220 shot at me when I walked up and then already hit Jesse so uh, dang it! So, he must not have been caught very, too, very long ago because he was still alive. I came up, so. There must have been something holding the jaws open. Anyways. Well, that's one less uh, egg eater in this area. Okay, so what happened on that skunk was uh, I took once I got him out of the trap, dispatched him, got him out of the trap. Um, I'd adjusted the trigger wires weird actually on that one. That was my bad. Um, what I did was the trigger wires were sl slightly bent forward, and when the trap snapped, one of the, the wires got caught in the, the jaws, and the jaw got in, the, in there between those two wires and it was holding the jaws open. 
So that skunk, it wasn't even any pressure on his neck. It was just held up enough where he just couldn't pull himself out of it. So he just got up and walked him off. And the audio was really bad on that one. I apologize about that. My, mic my new microphone wasn't in yet, so um, it was pretty windy. I was pro I apologize for that awful audio, but I thought I'd just clarify that up. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to support our sponsors. Happy trapping.